Hey everyone, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy. I hope you're having a wonderful day. One of the very first things that most people want to do when they're setting up a Rust server is be able to change the size of the stacks. As I'm sure many of you already know, by default, you can only stack items like wood and stone to a thousand. Sometimes that doesn't work for a lot of server owners, especially servers that have high gather rates. So up until very recently, we only had one option or at least one good option to be able to modify those stack sizes. And thanks to my good friend Khan, we now have an alternative and it's actually a really good alternative. I actually prefer this version over the original one. Not to disparage anything that has been done to stack size controller. I just am not really comfortable with it right now, but we're not going to get into what I don't like about that plugin. Let's get into what I do like about stack modifier. And basically what this plugin does is it allows us to change the size of the stacks in our server. So instead of being stuck at a stack size of a thousand for wood or stone or whatever it is that you want to change, you can change that stack to literally whatever you want it to be. So as you can see here I have 6,000 stones and if I try to stack them one on top of each other it obviously won't allow me to do that because I don't have this plugin installed just yet. So let's just go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see on console there stack modifier was compiled successfully loaded the plugin stack modifier. So let's go in and have a look at our configuration file. Now the one thing that I really like about this plugin is that it's not complicated. There's not a whole bunch of different commands that we have to remember. There's not a whole bunch of different things that we have to remember to do. It's just a much more streamlined version of of stack modifier. So there are a couple of different options at the top of the configuration file. For the most part, I'm going to suggest that most of you leave these at the default settings. Do you want to revert stack sizes on unload? It's suggested that you're leaving this at false, unless of course you were actually going to remove this plugin completely and you no longer wanted to have any kind of stack modifier on your server. The reason why Con put that in there is because if you remove this plugin and you've left this at false, even after the plugin has been removed from the server, your stack sizes are still going to be at the modified size. The second two options there, as many of you may already know, if you have any experience with any kind of stack size modifiers, there's a built in glitch kind of sort of that allowed you to duplicate items within the game simply by moving around your stacks. I'm not going to get into the details of that. Just know that you can actually disable the fixes that Khan has created in order to prevent those problems from happening on your server. So by default, this is set to false. I suggest you leave it there. And this one here, enable vending machine ammo fix, I suggest you leave that one at true. These are again, these are just default settings. I suggest you leave them right where they are. Now the rest of the configuration file only deals with the items within Rust. So you can literally scroll through this 3458 lines of code and change each individual items stack size. So for example, let's look for stones because that's what I currently have on my inventory. So as you can see there, the plugin has automatically generated this file and it already knows that the vanilla stack size for stones is 1000. So what do we want to change this to in a modified version of stacks? So let's just say just for argument's sake, because I have 6,000 stones in my inventory, I'm going to change this to 6,000. And you would want to go through this entire list. And yes, I know that while I'm saying that it sounds like a very daunting task. It's really not. In fact, before the original version of this plugin went through all of the growing pains that it's going through right now, you literally had to do the same thing in that version as well. And I did it so many times that I could probably have one of these whipped up in in about five minutes. So yes, it's 3,400 lines of code that you have to go through and make the changes as you see fit. It's not gonna take you very long. And then once you're done, you're done. You never have to deal with this ever again. So five to 10 minutes is all it's going to take. And then you never have to worry about it again. So obviously I'm not going to do that on a video for the plugin. So I'm just going to change stones. I'm going to save this file. I'm obviously going to reload my plugin, but I'm going to spell it right that time. All right, there we go. So we've reloaded the plugin. Let's go in game and make sure this actually worked. Okay. So here's my 6,000 stones in the original vanilla stack size. And if we start stacking these one on top of each other, of course, as we would expect, it allowed me to go up to 6,000. So let's just confirm that I grabbed a couple more so we can still stack split. We can still do all of the things that we're used to being able to do. Let's see what happens when we try to put it on top of there. Of course, 6,000 is the limit and it doesn't allow us to go higher. So it's an incredibly simple plugin to use. It works incredibly well. And one of the very cool features that I'd like to point out so that everyone knows about it is that if Rust actually adds a new item into the game, the plugin is automatically going to add that item into the configuration file so that all you have to do is go in and change 
change whatever stack size you want it to be. So obviously, let's just say Rust adds a whatchamacallit and the stack size is default set to one. That's exactly what's going to be reflected in your new configuration file. And then you can go in like I just did with stones and change the stack size of the whatchamacallit to whatever it is that you want it to be. After you've made your changes, of course, you save that file, you reload the plugin, and now you can stack your whatchamacallit to whatever stack size you set. As you can see on my screen there, this plugin has only been downloaded 53 times and I'm actually two of them. So only 51 other people are actually using this plugin. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not trying to disparage anything that is going on with stack size controller. I just prefer a more simplified version of stack size modifier, which is why stack modifier by con actually works a little bit better for my lifestyle. There's no long list of commands that we have to remember. All the changes are done inside the configuration file. You don't have to do it in console or in game. It's just at this stage, I feel that a simpler version of a stack modifier is the way to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, I put out a brand new video every Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. So until then, stay safe. Make sure you're taking care of each other. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week.